<laughs> what up, what up, you guys? It's your girl Jasmine, and it's time for another fresh out of the bed chit chat. I'm not gonna lie, like before I got on this camera, I was like looking at my muscles, like look at that. Y'all see the chest? Y'all see him? Y'all see him? Y'all see the chest? Like right here, like the pecs and shit. <laughs> I'm putting in that work in the gym. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. Before we get into today's discussion, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up button and leave a comment down below. The more y'all interact with my videos, the more YouTube is going to show the videos to more and more people. All right. So today's topic, like I feel like is necessary because women, like ladies, some of us be effed up. Like some of us I don't know. It's like some of us just don't grasp the concept of being independent. <laughs> and I want you to be an independent boss ass chick. Like there's nothing wrong with having a man. I'm, I'm not on some fuck, fuck men, get money. I'm not on none of that. Like, no, 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 that's not, no. But at the end of the day, like we should also know how to take care of ourselves. I feel like a lot of us don't like a lot of us need not even necessarily like a man or just somebody to like assist with our daily processes. Like some of y'all need someone to help you pay your bills. Some people are very like just codependent. Some, some people don't have cars. Some people, some people don't have jobs. Some people can't afford to feed themselves like without asking people for stuff. And it's like, at some point let's, let's make it a point in 2024. Like we're going to be a thousand percent independent. Like even if you have a boyfriend, even if you have a husband, like that's cool, that's cool. But let's say like y'all broke up or whatever, you should still be able to provide for yourself. You know what I mean? Like having someone as a partner should be like an added bonus, like an added luxury, like, but just know, that if they decide that they don't want to be with you no more, you good by yourself. Like, it's fine. Like, you good. <laughs> it ain't going to stop the show. You feel me? But like, I hate seeing women, especially, like, on the social media these days. Like, women are like, oh, I need my man to make this and this and this. And it's like, do you even make that yourself? <laughs> How are you going to say that your man need to have these standards, but you don't even provide that for yourself? Like there are some girls who be like, he has to have a car. He has to have a, he has to have a six figure job or a six figure business. Like, but do you, do you have that? No. Like, so then how are you expecting somebody to be able to do that for you when you can't do that for yourself? I feel like people be getting confused. Like, and then like when you listen to like rap music and stuff and girls are like, you know, talking about like how they bosses or they, they can get a man to buy them a burger or whatever. They not on our level. <laughs> They on a totally different level. Like I'm not on their level at this moment in life. Eventually in the future I will be, yes. But as of right now, like I'm not there yet. So I can't listen to nothing Cardi be talking about. <laughs> you feel me? Like I can't listen to nothing the city girls talking about. They I'm not on their level. They on a whole nother tax bracket. Like way, way, way up there. So fuck I look like listening to them and what they saying and then trying to create that in my life and have a man who's doing this. Like, I just feel like, I feel like social media be having people like confused, especially women. Like, I just feel like a lot of women be confused. A lot of women feel like, and that's the other thing I can't stand is like, women feel like they have to have a man. Like you don't have to have a man. Like it's nice. Don't get me wrong. It's nice. Like I said, it's a, it's an added bonus. It's a luxury. But you don't need anyone but yourself. And I say this all the time, like even when we're talking about like our weight loss and fitness journeys and needing like accountability partners and gym buddies, like all that is cool, y'all. But you don't need that. Some of y'all feel like y'all need it. And I really want to try to get you to understand you don't need anybody but yourself. Like everything is within you. Like you just have to, you have to like get by yourself, get in your thoughts, meditate about it, pray about it. If you pray and just really dig deep and find that within you, but it is within you, but it's hard. Like I'm not gonna sit here and say it's easy to be independent because it's not like that should be tough, but you don't feel so much better knowing that you didn't need someone to do this, this, and this for you. And then on top of that, who want to sit around listening to someone talk about what they've done for you? I know I don't. I don't, I don't ask a motherfucker for shit. I don't give a fuck. If I don't have something, I just don't have it. Like, I'm not about to ask 
nobody for nothing. And I'm not going, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a fake it till I make it too. Like, I'm not someone who's going to sit on the phone and tell someone like my problems. Like, I'm just not. The only who I'm going to talk about my problems is my mom and my counselor. That's it. Like, I'm not, I'm not about to be on the phone telling her, her, and her what's going on in my personal life. Like, I'm not doing it. And another thing, I don't post my personal life on social media anyway, because I feel like most people are nosy and most people don't really care about you anyways. And then it's like, fuck, I look like posting my problems on Facebook. Like, what? <laughs> like, I'm not here to entertain you. It's about business. Everything I post is about business. <laughs> like, you either gonna, you either gonna rock with it or you not, but I'm not posting my personal mess on social. Like, I don't care what I'm going through. Like, no. The people who are close to me, people who talk to me in my personal life, which is like nobody, they will know. <laughs> if you meant to know, you're gonna know outside of social media. You're not gonna know because I post about it on social media. You feel me? But some people, like, I be scrolling through my Facebook feed, and people be telling their whole business. And I be like, why is she, why is she saying all that? Like, I know y'all have Facebook friends, but you just kind of like, why are they telling me this? <laughs> At what point are you going to keep your business your business? Like, y'all... I cannot make this up. I swear I cannot make this up. I cannot make this up. And sometimes I be feeling like people do it for attention. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Like me personally, I feel like people do that shit for attention. They want someone to comment, which is a which is codependency. Like you can't you 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 can't process your emotions by yourself. And I understand we're all in different journeys and we're all on different like levels as far as like how we handle conflict. But that's why I be trying to tell y'all, like, y'all really got to dig deep and understand that the power is within you. It's really within you. Like, you really have to isolate yourself. And that's that's one thing that I can say I'm grateful for and thankful for is that I got the chance to isolate myself and really learn a lot about myself these past few years. Because a lot of people don't get that. A lot of people have kids. A lot of people... You know, they just don't get that opportunity to be by themselves. People go to work all day. So, you know, you're not really by yourself unless you work from home. But even still, you might be on the phones all day. You don't really get a chance to really just be in your own head and learn about yourself and work on yourself. Like a lot of people don't get that opportunity. But if you can, if you do have the ability to do that, like I'm telling you, it was the best thing I ever did for myself was to stop depending on friends, stop depending on people and like just learn how to just be comfortable in my own skin, learning how to be independent. And then with that, I learned how to not care about people's opinions because I got comfortable with being myself. I learned to love myself. I feel like a lot of people don't get that. A lot of people... They care about people's opinions. They care about what people think. And that's the problem too. That goes back to needing validation, which means you're not independent. So it's just a whole, like, it is a whole process, but I just really want women, like, I just really want us to be stronger mentally. I really want women to be able to contain their emotions. Like, don't act out of emotions. Like, so many women, like, when they're mad, like, you know they mad. Like, be mad but be mad within yourself and you don't have to show everybody that you're mad. You feel me? Like learn how to contain your emotions, learn that everything don't need a reaction. Like just learn that, learn that you don't need anyone but yourself to get through anything, anything. Like obviously you talk to your parents, they love you, you know, but like, I'm just talking about like girlfriends and boyfriends and, acquaintances and co-workers like y'all we y'all don't need that y'all don't need that the only, the only person you need is yourself so just just sit on that like i really want you to sit on that today think about what i said figure out how you can apply that to your own life maybe you are already independent if you are like good for you sis because a lot of a lot of women out here are not so like good for you like people be dating and be asking people to buy them stuff. And it's like, it is not no one's responsibility to buy you nothing. If they want to take you out, they want to treat you. That's, that's cool. But I feel like some women just be dating because they want to get a free meal out of somebody or they, they want their phone bill paid or they need help. Like people just always want help. They always want something. <laughs> At what point are you not going to want nothing? At what point you got to, what, what point are you got not going to need 
something from somebody. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, maybe it's just me. I don't know. Leave a comment down below. Let me know. Is it just me? Am I tripping? Like, am I one of a kind? I don't think so. Like, I know there are women out here who believe everything I just said. I just, I just really want the women who are still working on themselves to understand this. And maybe no one's ever told you this before because I feel like we're a reflection of where we came from. So not always, but I feel like if you grew up in a household where your mother always needed, 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 then you might always need, need, need. You know what I mean? But if you grow up in a household where your mother was, you know, providing for herself or whatever, then you might have that. I don't know. I do feel like a lot of stuff is about our upbringing, like what we saw, what we witnessed as children. But at the end of the day, like it's, you have to fix your traumas and realize like not everything that you saw growing up is correct. You have to be mature enough to understand that you need to self-develop. You need to grow. And that's why I say like every day you should be self-developing. You should be learning about yourself. If, if you spaz out on somebody yesterday, the next day you should be focusing on, okay, how can I make sure that the next time I'm in a conflict, I don't spaz out? You know what I mean? We should always be trying to develop. And I feel like a lot of that comes from working out too and just being disciplined on a weight loss journey. Like, I'm telling y'all, I feel like all this stuff connects. I feel like mental health is so, so, so important. If you're mentally strong, like you're unstoppable. Like you're not going to react to stressful situations because you know how to cope. You know how to contain your emotions. You feel me? So let me know down below what y'all think. Also, make sure y'all check out my free guides. I have so many free guides down in the description. You can also click the link above. It's going to be floating around here. I have like a, a free 50 glute exercise guide, how to lose 10 pounds in 30 days guide. I have a four week exercise guide with no equipment needed. I have a vegan meal plan guide. I have so many guides. So make sure y'all check out the description and you'll see the link for all of those. And I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye.